Kilo. A Vometer or Volume Unit Meter is a device intended for visual presentation of the audio signal. It typically consists of a series of LED arranged in horizontal bar graph configuration which light up proportionally to, proportionally to the level of the audio signal they receive. In some of my previous videos I present you more different types of such devices. This time I will present you a way to make a advanced VU meter which for indication uses 5050 type LED strip with a built-in WS2812B chips and the parameters of each diode can be controlled manually, individually. Uh, thanks to the future of the LED strip with the minimum number of components and the relatively complex code uh, can be made a VU meter with many function and visual modes. The project was originally developed by Eric B. Creator and then it was repeatedly made and modified by many self-builders. On the occasion of the upcoming Christmas and New Year holidays, visit PCBWA big Christmas sale where you will find discounts of up to 50% as well as, well as many other prizes and benefits. This project is sponsored by PCBWay. This year PCBWay organized the 7th project design contest where in addition to electronic and mechanical project also has been added a new category STM32 project. For the best selected projects are provided rich prizes in cash, coupons and special gifts. Submit your project for particip participation in this contest from 2nd September 2024 to 9th January 2025. For more detailed information and instruction, visit the given page. Let's PCBWA always be your first choice. The device is relatively simple to make and contains only a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller board. Next, 10 kilo ohm resistors, 5 pieces. Two potentiometers, 10 kilo ohms. Two buttons. One switch. Next, audio input jacks. And WS2812. B LED strip with each with 50 LEDs, total 100 LEDs. As you can see, the control part and LEDs uh, and LED strips are placed in the separate box in order to have better visibility during the presentation of this device. Otherwise, my original idea is that the control part will be built into the box with the LED strips and the potentiometers and buttons. Uh, will be on the back of the box and the width of the box would be standard 19 inch to fit a part of the whole audio system. Based on this dimension the number of lessons in the strip would be adjusted. The code is highly customizable and, it, and all important settings are commented out. So we can easily adjust according to our current conditions. Speaking to the number of the diodes in the strip, several values are predefined in the code. If the project requires us to have a different number of diodes than those preferred in the code, as in my case, where I have 50 diodes per channel, then we simply cut the strip to the required number and in the code we uncomment the line where the more diodes are defined. Or if we have a knowledge, we can change the number of LEDs in the code. And now let me explain all the settings and options as well as how this device works in real conditions. Uh, first potentiometer uh, regulates the sensitivity of the input signal. The other potentiometer uh, serves to regulate the light intensity of the LEDs. Uh, this is switch for 
pick hold function. Next, a button that can be used to select one of 12 different color shams. And other button will cycle through spinning and or pulsing modes. Let's see how these settings works in real conditions. We can also place the box with the LED lights vertically above the control box so we get a vertical audio visualizer boom meter. Next, I would like to show you visually effective and very unusual way to displaying signal strength. Now, now instead of a LED strip, we will use a LED ring with 60 LEDs. Also in the code, we need to deselect the line where is defined the VUMETER on single 60 LED strip. And finally a short conclusion, this is probably the most advanced LED VUMETER for which you can find detailed documentation on the internet. Despite the many options and customization possibilities, it is extremely simple to make and contains a minimal number of components. When you see it live, it has a beautiful visual effect and I recommend it to any audiophile as an addition to the audio system. I mount the device in a suitable case made of PVC board with a thickness of 5mm and covered with a colored celta adhesive wallpaper. 